Well, I got all my tomato beds cleaned out here last week. All these I had sitting in a wheelbarrow. My husband actually helped me do it. Actually, he did it while I was working. I picked up, but he's picking all my tomatoes, all the green ones. Tore out the plants. I got the beds cleaned out a couple days ago. These were all green a week ago. And this many on this side has already turned red. Got these many to go. I think if I cover them over, they'll slow them down, so I'll have them a little bit longer. Fresh ones. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that it don't take long for them to uh, ripen up. These are the beds they were in. Got them all cleaned out. Looks pretty bare now. Still got some green beans there. I haven't tore them out yet. The other tomato plants were in there. The rest of my garden. Got some helpers out there. Not doing too much work though, I see. I had my granddaughter here the other day and she wanted to touch all these little scarecrow guys and she says, can I touch one, Grandma? And she's three. And I go, yeah, yeah, you can go touch them. And then I showed her that sticks and stuff underneath of them. She thought that was pretty funny. So we got her pictures taken with them. <laughs> oh, kids, they're funny. This is my poor flowers. I think I'm going to tear them out today. I saved some seeds on several things. Might put a couple of things in the greenhouse. Just have to remember to keep them watered. Black-eyed Susan and the coleus, and I don't know if I can save the seeds on the coleus or not. If I get get the same plant back, or even if it would germinate, I don't even know. I know I can take cuttings. I might just do that. If anybody knows or has tried taking the seeds, I don't even know. With any success, if anybody tried it, let me know. I think they're looking pretty sad. Get everything chopped down. Got this bed all cleaned out a couple of days ago. Had peppers and cherry tomatoes in it. I cover it with these, uh, with that plastic fencing and try to keep the cats out of it. <clears throat> Seems to work pretty good. I still got some carrots. What's left of them? I, I, oh, my granddaughter's coming. She planted them, actually, the three year old. She loves them. They're just the little Danvers, the little short ones. So she comes and picks them out, washes them off. Thought she'll eat them all day long. Next year, I'm going to plant more of them, I think. Great idea. Here's her pumpkin. Didn't get any pumpkins off of it. Got one poor little sad one there. I planted them way too late and this area is just too shady. So anyway, that's just an update on the vegetable garden and how everything's changing. You can sure see the leaves on my living fence. That's the um, Virginia creeper it turns red. It's really pretty in the fall. It's very invasive, but it sure makes a nice fence when you got a highway right next to you. And out here tearing stuff out and um, cutting stuff down. Hasn't froze here yet, which is, uh, I guess it's okay, but you know it's coming any day now, so it's like, okay, get it over with so I can get things pulled out, finished pulling out, and, and, uh, cleaned up. Guess I could do it anyway, but who likes to chop down fl flowers that are blooming? I don't. <laughs> I'll keep the streams and things go on until it freezes really good. And I just like the sound of them. So I'll keep them going. Some Sedum Autumn Joy. It's just now blooming. I really like that. It's a late 
fall bloomer. This one we try to keep, this pond we try to keep going all, all winter because there are a couple fish in it. So anyway, this is what's been going on here. I'll be like everybody else. Getting ready for fall. I need to chop down those sweet peas this year and get rid of some of them. I'm getting too sick. Some Russian sage. It's just about done for. Salvia rebloomed a little bit. Well, there you go. Just a quick look at what's been going on here in Oregon. Okay, talk to you guys later.